Okay, guys, I'm here today for Andrew Witz, a huge honor for me. As you guys know, it's one of the best grapplers coming up now in the jiu-jitsu scene, gi and no gi. And guys, Andrew just shot an entire structure, very unique, very different, like all about how to use wrestling coming from guard. Right, no, Andrew? Yeah, so I, I'm doing the entire instructional on all of the different places and the systems that I use to wrestle up and finish takedowns from being on my back, okay? So a lot of it involves like like single leg X, reverse de la Hiva, some de la Hiva, we got shin guard, the X guard, okay? It's all just about these different positions that I think really lean towards wrestling up, okay? And then the systems that I use to actually set up those takedowns and I go back and forth between sweep attempts, uh, submission attempts, and then follow up with a takedown attempt, okay? And how I set all of those up. And then how I finish once I actually do come up with a leg or if I come up in a body lock or I come up in a double leg and how to establish and firmly put them on their back. Yeah, no, Andrew, I'm very curious to see what you're gonna show because uh, that when I used to compete, that was kind of like my whole game. It was like to play half, but it was only, only from half, you're not from every position mm. as you're showing, as you're saying, but, my whole game was, was about like playing halfway and come up with like a wrestling move. So even when I started doing wrestling, that was a game changer in my career. And that was the best period I had on my career. So I'm excited to, yeah. to see here what you have. So I guess I'll start with uh, one of my favorite positions is uh, shin on shin. Okay, and I use this as a way to set up takedowns purely from the position itself. And then I use this to advance to a stronger wrestle up position like single leg X into X guard. Yep. Okay, so against a opponent that's in a combat base or against an opponent that's uh, standing, okay, most people are standing to pass, all right, what I'm kind of looking for always, like I'm always hand fighting, I'm always grip fighting, I'm always maintaining my distance and preventing them from uh, doing any kind of step in, okay, but I try to avoid literally just reaching out, grabbing the leg and then pulling myself in because a lot of times that's when they're going to underhook you, that's when they're going to jump on your head, that's when they're going to inside step you, so you'll see me kind of gauging my distance with my feet. Okay, because if he's too far away, I can't really start to threaten dummy sweeps. Okay, so I use my dummy sweep as kind of like my jab, no gi, because not, it's not that I think I can knock everyone over from literally every position, but I can almost always force them to step back on one side. Specifically, the side I want them to is the side that I'm going to push a little more on on their upper body. Okay, and in the course of them stepping back, that's when it's very easy for me to safely slide forward and attach to this lead leg now, okay, and make them have a lead leg. If you weren't in a position where I could dummy sweep you, okay, let's say you had this leg back already, which you were kind of defending this a little bit already, I would either scooch to my left and cause you to follow me with this, okay, so now you step yeah. a little more on the that's same smart. plane, and yeah. as you're stepping, that's when I can start to come yeah. and probingly look for a dummy sweep, okay? Or I'll start to hand fight you on that side. You can do stuff like if you have that leg back and I want you to step forward, I can start to Hold down on this one, sorry. <laughs> no, that's too, too strong. No, no, but you, 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 uh, you force the steps. Well. Okay, yep. You can do that with head control, shoulder control, yep. anything. But if you're on the same plane, like the same plane, that's when I can really threaten dummy sweeps. But again, I'm not going to talk about dummy sweeps, I'm talking about going to shin on shin. So they step back, you safely establish. Okay, you can hold it like this. You can hold it like this. I do have to be appropriately cautious about letting them get an underhook on me. So I'm always trying to close this off either with a calf grip or with a really tight. Uh, underhook on the leg, okay? Now to talk about the position itself, I need to be maintaining some kind of cross pressure. Okay, so my hand's not just here for show and my hook's not there for show. I'm lifting with this. I don't think it's gonna move his leg yet, okay, but I'm going to be pressuring it as I pull in also, to the point where if he tried to circle his foot to the inside, the pressure would automatically follow him, okay? Yeah. And that's going to compromise his balance, all right? Now, again, I want you to, like I do a lot of weight manipulation when I cause him to put his weight on this leg or this leg, depending on what I'm trying to set up. So if I wanted to roll into single leg X from here, okay, which a lot of times I do, all right, if he's got all his weight on this foot here and I, I can't lift it, okay. So again, from this position, okay, I will start to look for uh, attempted dummy sweeps from here. And this is actually a very strong position to do the dummy sweep on because I only have to worry about sweeping the one leg because this leg can't move because I have it trapped, okay? So I can very aggressively start to attack that leg. And if he steps back too far or falls onto his hip at all, that's an immediate wrestle up, okay? But again, most of the time, you get the guy to step back. Now his weight's on that leg. And you can already see I'm positioning to start to roll under and strip this through to my single X, okay? And the single X you can use for leg locks, you can use for all kinds of stuff. I specifically like to use it as a wrestle up position or a way to transfer to X guard. Okay, so right away, holding single leg X, all right, 
I need to be, foot on the hip, extremely well pressured, okay? So my foot's not just here, like if I just let him peel that off, I'm not holding this right. Okay, so I'm gonna put my foot on the hip, kind of down by his hip flexor, this is IBGGF legal. Okay, I'm gonna put my weight on my heel. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm actually gonna be taking my hip first and scooching it out into his calf. Okay, I want like his calf to be connected to my hip flexor while he's stretched out, right? Because this is gonna make it a lot easier if I wanna switch to X guard, I can come under there. Or if his weight was really planted on this, when I scooch out, if you can see his foot actually just came off the ground. I'm still pinching, so he can't actually just step out. I don't even need to be holding it yet, but that would make my switch to X guard very easy, okay? But from here, I go between uh, foot on the hip and shallow hook, okay? If he's stepping too close to me, his leg's too close, this is one of those times I can very easily wrestle up on him, and it seems counterintuitive, but I can launch his hips up and out at an angle, okay? And while he's going up and down at that angle, he can't actually push back into me, okay? So we can do a technical stand-up. Okay, so I get him in the air, I get him going out, and I immediately am going right hand on the mat, left foot on the mat, okay? Because the reason why is I'm going to be backing my hips up. If you can see I'm already behind his hips a little bit, all I have to do is not lose this knee line, and I can back my hips up and get my hip line underneath me, okay? The reason you don't go forward on these is because his hips are above my center line of my chest and above my hips. So if he's able to put his weight on his hips and I try to go forward, just push into me he'll always be able to turn me back over, okay? Yeah. So you, you always back up on these wrestle-ups so I can event, avoid getting turned back over. And then once you do get their leg up, I talk about finishing, okay? How to use uh, inside grips, outside grips, football grips, different throws I can do from here, uh, how to get to a body lock from here, how to put them down. Essentially, all of the different things I do to put him on the ground. So. Uh, Andrew, you mentioned in one word while you were teaching that made me think of it. So you said that you do a lot of like weight manip manipulating. Yeah. I don't feel it's only weight manipulating. I, I felt manipulated <laughs> completely here, not only by my weight, but it sounds like you know so many options about every aspect of it. So a lot of it's, uh, you, you run into the common things people do to react to stuff, because there's only so much that works in reaction to what you're doing. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. So you can you can plan for those reactions. Like I know you're gonna do this, 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 or this because that's the only thing that would actually work. Okay. Got it. And then like the other stuff that they do, like it like if you just fell over trying to defend them, I'm not to worry about any of that stuff. I got it. So I can have my next step ready to go. Yeah. For, even no, off my and, back. Yeah, and what I would say is like the very best Jiu Jitsu athletes that I ever train with or drill with, that's exactly how they are to like uh, the, you feel being manipulated by him, you know, because everything you do, they have the answer, they have the option, they have the grip, they have the... So, it's great to see that you are on exactly the same way, you know. I have a lot, I have a lot of free time, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome, Andrew. Yeah, so guys, uh, Andrew just shot this entire instructional here, which is very unique, I don't think we ever done one instructional like that. That's all about, like, wrestling moves coming from guard. So, very, very different, and the... Uh, I think you guys will enjoy a lot and learn a lot. So make sure to check that out. It's gonna be at bggfanatics.com and maybe by the time we're watching, it's already there. So thanks so much, Andrew, appreciate it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.